Hey folks, this is Alexi Ballion here. I'm going to do a bit of UV unwrapping here with uh, Maya 2017. So what I've done is I've created, um, well, right here, two cubes, you can see. And I'm just going to quickly unwrap it and eventually go to a, a board, which is what we're doing for our game model. So let me just move this one over. I'll just make another cube really quickly. R, And this is going to be um, a floorboard for a game asset. Okay. So just roughly, that's the idea. You'll see where I'm going with this. All right, W here. Take these two guys to the side, and I will work with this one. All right, so unwrapping is simply the idea of putting a three-dimensional, um, so putting a two-dimensional surface on a three-dimensional object, okay? So it's flat, just think of a piece of paper wrapping around a cube, okay? So each sheet is on a polygon. So let's see, immediately here I'm in modeling, okay, so that's important. And right here, UV, just like before in 2017, it's the same UV editor, and you can come up with this. And what Maya does on the spot, uh, and what I like to do is to have both these screens open on the spot, it unwraps it in the inverted T here. And I'm just going to bring two screens up like this. All right, so that's there right there. So right now, if I just uh, zoom out here a touch, bring it here, right click on a face, you will see it lit up over there. All right, so one, two, three. So you can see now these, the four here, these four here, for example, should be continuous, right? One by one, side by side, but it's not. It's just, you know, you can easily do, um, bring in a texture and this isn't really the best way for you. Okay, so I'm going to leave this one alone. I'm going to go object, and you'll see why in a minute I'm going to do it differently. Okay, so this was just off the box, basically, out of the box. You click, and you go UVW over here, editor, and you see the inverted T. Now, let's do another one. The second cube here, and I'm going to use the fourth icon here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this mapping is really nice. So what it's going to do is going to take a picture from all around views. All right, and notice already here what is done for us, which is kind of cool, very cool actually, and that it's giving us six surfaces, and they're individual. Right. So if I press W now, a couple things will not work properly, but I'll, I'll explain. So look, look at that. See. So that's that surface over here. Boom. That one down there, and so you really don't know where things are at this point. Okay, what I want, what I would like to do is have four of them side by side and maybe uh, the top being uh, the edge up here and a bottom edge somewhere down here showing the bottom surface. Okay, so this is okay. This is okay if you don't know what you're doing, quick and dirty. This is probably the best for you guys off, off the, out of the box. Okay, so this is preferable. So it's right here, the fourth icon, one, two, three, four. Okay, the mapping system there. All right, so what I would like to do here and... I want to bring the faces, I want to weld them together or stitch them together. Okay, so let's see how I could do that. And you'll know why once we get to the floorboard, why I'm doing this. Okay, so we're going to do, we're going to be painting our own textures. And um, I can open up one of my uh, classes here and you can see what we've done. This is my grade 12 class. Uh, here you go, wood boards. Let's see. There it is. This is something I've made using uh, Sketchbook Pro. All right. So I think there are other ones I've created. Structing textures, wood boards somewhere else. Okay. So this is another version I'm doing. So all this is done in Sketchbook Pro. And what we want to do is take those these images onto 3D objects. Okay. Enough talking. Let's just get things going. All right. A couple things. This little icon here, anytime I click it, the entire surface moves okay which is kind of nice but the danger about this is if you don't if you don't get out of it by pressing either q w for a move you'll always be stuck in this all right so let's see right now a couple things i want to do i want to find where this uh right here this surface is okay so what i'm going to do is press w i'm going to slide this down here and i want to see the adjacent surface to it so click here and let's see, uh, right click, of course, face, boom. So that's there. So what I may have to do is go like this, bring it over again right here. So roughly that's the adjacent surface. Good. I'm mapping them together. So we got one, we have two. And I don't know right now if the edges are in the right di direction, but we'll get to that. So three. Okay, so I'm going to move this guy over. There are faster ways of doing this, but we got to take it slow here. Three. Okay, spin around and let's find number four over there okay so i'm going to zoom out 
And I'm just going to drag this over like that. Okay, roughly, these are the four surfaces. So let's go look for a face on top. And this one, and that one, this one. So what I'll do is I'll just bring that over here for now, roughly. And assuming this one is where? Close to... Let's just, I'm going to bring it down here somewhere for now. You'll get where I'm going to go to next. Okay, so let's just make this a little bigger here. Okay. So if you really want to work in UVs, one of the easiest things you can do is select all this and right-click and go to UV. Okay, so now Maya knows we're working with UV surfaces and not just polygons. Okay, we're not moving polygons. We're thinking about UVs. So watch how cool this next step is. Okay, I'm going to right-click and go to Edge, and I'm going to select an edge, and look at that. The adjacent edge is right there. So what I'm thinking right now, if I select this surface and rotate it, the, the edges will be side by side. So what I'm going to go to face, boom, look at the rotate tool. Click once, twice, three, four. And now I'm going to right click again, go to edge, and those two are together. Okay, so and why am I doing this? I want Maya to stitch it. This is just like fashion design, okay? So we uh, check this out, move and so UV and make sure when you're doing this you're not in this because the entire thing will sew together and we don't want to do that okay so I'm gonna get out of that by pressing W these two edges are there polygons move and sew edges done nice okay so this is the, the practice we're gonna work with for the things that we unwrap so I'm gonna click on edge again and let's find out where the next edge is okay so these are good we're lucky if I press G now well, it should have worked. Did not. That's okay. We'll go move and sew. All right, sweet. So let's find this one here. Oh, we're so lucky here, right? And let's try that again. Move and sew. Nice. Okay, so where is this guy here? Oh, look at that. I need to rotate this. So in order for me to rotate, I can go to, even I can do vertex, for example, like this, vertex. And if I rotate now, look, that's not going to work. So I'm going to have to go face because I just want the face lit up. Again, if I did add, uh, vertex here, Look, all the vertices are here. Even though I select this one, and I'm going to press rotate, look what's going to happen. That's danger. Okay, let's avoid that. Dangereux there. Okay, so face, and um, let me go back, and let's see the edge again, right edge here. Oh, well, hold on a second, mister. Well, I can actually, you know, let's for fun, let's move it over here. All right, so let's do that. Face, boom, slide it over here for now, and I really, you really don't need to do this this way. It'll do it for you, but... For now, let's just go edge, proximity is good, and then so edge is sweet. Let's see where this edge goes. Oh, look at that. Okay, so now it's this way. Okay, let me just see where this surface is. I'm going to rotate this, so I'm going to clip it over here just for fun. Okay, and now uh, let's go face, boom, once, twice, that's uh, 90 degrees. Slide that over, touch, and up here right click edge look at that sweet and then polygon move and sew edges well that didn't work that's anytime something doesn't work just try it again move and sew edges sweet so now if i'm selecting face over here look at that it's over there it's the last one the next one and so on and so on so really when you're texturing things you kind of know where things are okay so this is pretty cool so now I'm going to take this icon here, and I think it's select the entire, um, what is it called? It'll come to you guys. If you just hold the mouse here for a while, it'll light up. Entire object. So look, if I click here once, anywhere here, the entire uh, polygon structure is selected. So I want, to, I want to get this mesh, all the faces in this box, okay? So now I'm going to have to press my hotkey R. You guys know, that's scale, W and E is move, E is rotate, R is this. So. Let's just bring it in. Now a little W here, and the entire system is still out. R, a touch more, and that should do it. W. Okay, so now this will be my my first um, clip is ready. So I'm going to take a shot of this. So I'll go over here, polygons, UV snapshot. Now I'm going to make this 512 by 512 for now. Okay, 512 by 512. And because I haven't really created a structure for my f uh, file right now, I'm just going to send this to my desktop. Really bad practice there. So let me just make a new UV lessons, UV underscore. I'm in the dark here, people. Unwrap. Okay, and I'll double click that. I'll call this cube one. Okay, so there's my, in what format? And it's right. I didn't. I didn't pay attention. So I'm going to look again. So my IFF. Let's just keep it JPEG. Okay. So again, okay. 
oops, uh, let me go again, Polygon UV Snapshot. Um, it's going to go somewhere else. Browse, Desktop, UV Unwrap, and now it's a JPEG, right? Cool. Save. Yes, yes, yes. Replace it. Cool. Close. So that's done. So you saw that. Now, let's go, and, and I hope this will make sense to you guys. Object, W, move it out of the way. Now, we have a plank. <laughs> I'm thinking about release the plank. Anyway, um, here we go. So now, let's just try this automatically and see what happens. Here it is. Here's an object we've created. It's a wood board. Fine. UV editor, what do we get? Classic. Now, this shape in no way represents the plank in terms of geometry, right? Like, look at that. Um, let's go to vertex, vertex, here it is. Okay, so you can see now, there's no connection to this. Like, if I'm if I'm gonna put on those boards, um, where are those images? Like, see, if I'm gonna put on one of these, for example, this does not work well for me, proportionally. Okay, so that's one method, right? So I'm gonna go right here, um, gonna be in object mode. And let's hit this fourth one here. Okay, so again, it's going to map from, uh, there's a setting where you can do more than six sides, but four, six sided, right? So now it's going to separate them all together. So we go to UV again, UV editor. And okay, so that's a good start. However, you notice that proportionally, we're not there. Okay, so I'm just going to take these. I'm going to look at, so that's the side, right? So let me see if I can just do this again. And I thought it would give me... I'm going to go to object here. I'm going to assign new material here. Lambert. Let's start from zero. Come on. And this is my board one. Underscore 01. OK. And select W. And let's come in here and see. OK. So this should really give me proportional representation, but it didn't. Who knows why? Still not doing it. OK. No worries. Here's what I'll do. Um, OK click out here let's get this face here so remember this guy here move the entire so press W and and I'm gonna just press R or you can go to UV uh, vertex right you can just select the verts W uh, I'm not gonna do that right now okay so let's just go to face and I'm gonna press R and I'm gonna scale this up okay and scale it in W and here's this one first okay and if I press R again I can bring it within this uh, border here all right, all right. So it's here. Got that one. Let me go to the side here. Where would this face be? Oh, look at that right here. Again, this is going to be somewhere around here. Press R for scale. Slide it over. Boom, and that goes up a little over more, roughly. And okay. And then W. We're going really fast here, guys. I'm sorry. Let me just zoom in so you guys will have a better. Um, view of things that are happening okay so that's the second piece now I'm gonna spin around I want to take the uh, underneath piece face and the reason why I'm keeping the underneath piece is because we can flip over our um, these polygons and have the texture looking differently I'm gonna slide this right over same idea R one two three four like that and right click move uh, let's go to face W that's somewhere here and then obviously let's find out where that edge is uh, that surface part of me face click and it's there so this one's gonna go in between us I like that R okay something like this W bring it somewhere in the middle and then I'll scale out R again okay so right now for the first steps for us is to just be able to unwrap it and have the surfaces uh, somewhat represent in terms of proportion okay W okay so next step is let's get these edges going oh yeah we got the side ones too right normally when I do this process um, what happens is um, the pieces come out proportionally but it didn't but that's okay it's forcing us to do something else right W bring it over here roughly there's that one and we're we're guessing that this one here is somewhere on this side all right bring it on top R over over. You can e you can even put them. You can put each one of these on top of each other if you want, depending how you're making your you're drawing your texture, you're painting your texture. Okay, roughly that's that. So I'm gonna take 
all of these guys, press W, bring them on the grid here, on our working plane. This is the X, that's the Y, and everything will fit in it within a minute, okay? So let me just get rid of that so you guys can see this better, the background. Okay, so let's look at edges. Let's see if they're right. We're, we were guessing. So boom, where's the other edge? It's over there, so wrong one. If I click on this guy here, boom, W, and that's going to bring it on top. This one's over here, so let's see. Pop that there. And let's go to edge mode for a second. Where is the other edge? Hang on a second. I said edge. Edge. I say edge. No? Oh, I know. I see. Right there. If you're not out of that, we're in danger zone. Okay, so let's do that again. My stylus here. Let go. Edge. Select. Oh, man. Seriously? How did I miss that one? Very fascinating. Okay, no worries. So I'm going to rotate that one. Whoop, careful. And if I'm going to rotate that, I need to be in face mode. So look, uh, E is for rotate, but I'm just going to use this one once, twice. Okay, so look at that. How cool is that? So if I right click and press edge now, and that's the side. So somehow this was not right. So if I go to face, move that. See you later. You are over here. And immediately I will scale this. And I should have done the uh, edges first, but roughly there it is, W. This should be good. Okay, so edge, that's good, right? These two, so if I go move, and so, done. Okay, I'll fix, I'm doing this on purpose, I'm not lining them up, because I'm gonna show you another um, tool over here, aligning method, okay? So, let me just go to edge here, and I wanna know where this guy goes. And that goes over there, so that's not helping me right now that edge goes here so okay so notice that the connection here so obviously this one is not in the right place okay so where does this one go up there hmm okay let's work with what we do know okay. well these two are not connecting why is that thought we did that already no probably not okay I'm gonna find this edge oh look at that right here okay so face Boom, um, counterclockwise, twice, slide it over, and now look. <laughs> I do something pretty wild here, look. Edge, so, look at this. Move and so, whoa, how cool is that, right? So now I'm gonna have to play around here. I'm doing this on purpose for fun. Vertex, look, um, let's not do that for right now. I don't wanna confuse you guys, all right? So, let me scale this in. There's a lot of ways we could do this, and it's really a lot of fun. So here, over there like that and uh, a little bit over W and that should do it and R that a little bit let's see here W and then I'm gonna scale it in on the X here a bit okay so right click go to edge again you two are good excellent polygon oh, sorry yeah polygons moving so done okay so now I need something that goes over there there it is. Good stuff. We found it. So face, boom, R, bring it in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let me just command Z. Let's not flip our normals here, okay? So you got to be really careful here. Like that, over, a touch. And I'm going to press W. And this will come over here, okay? So roughly. And then R, a touch. Okay, so I'm going to right click and edge and move in so. All right, so um, we need the edge. This is not making any sense here, folks. This can't be. All right, so what is happening here? So far, this is good. Who are you with? What? I'm beyond confused here. I'm gonna pause and try to figure out why this is all not looking proper. Okay, so I'm trying to figure this out here. So I'm going to go to edge and notice something here. I noticed quickly here. The edge of this is there. So n somehow I have my proportions way off. However, the edges are correct. So let's see. So if these two are supposed to be connected, so what can I do now is basically select this bad boy here and uh, one, two, three, like that. Slide over here and I'm going to rescale it. Awesome. Okay, so um, I, can, I can right click and press R or whatever. Let's see if this thing is going to do it for me. Oh, yeah, so it's coming like this. So that would be the board. Uh, w, let's just bring this over here. 
And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I can take these two guys and bring them in that way. And then I'm going to take the outside two. And I didn't pick it. So I'm going to be in vertex mode again. Vertex. And I don't have this bad boy on here. Okay, so let's see. Oh, man. That's brutal, isn't it? So um, let me just do it this way. UV vertex. Come on, guys. Work with me, eh? sure why this is happening pause for the cause you can tell it's early in the morning okay so let's see what's happening here I was playing with vertex I should be in UV hello wakey okay so you're over here that's okay I'm gonna take these two guys bring them up a bit and you'll see I'll align everything in a minute and there's pretty cool tools for aligning things okay so let's see if this is actually making any sense edge here, these two. Okay, I'm just gonna go move and sew, and then I'm gonna work in UVs right out. Oh, I didn't, I didn't select it. Let's try that again. Polygon, move and sew. Okay, how about I select you this way, where it's lit, fully lit, move and sew. Oh, sweet. Okay, now for fun. Oh, yep, yeah, we got one more to add here. Yep. Press G. Work. It did. All right, the last command actually works. So let me just bring this grid up so you guys can see that everything is here. And now I'm going to hide the background and I'm going to work in UV, uh, vert, UV verts. Okay, so again, UV, check it out. So I'm going to select these guys. This is really cool. Look at this arrow, align to the bottom. Oh yeah, look at that. Align to the left, done. Sweet. This one, let's go align to the right, done. And this one aligned to the top, all these verts, all these points, right? Right there. And then I got these two guys. I'm good. So now at this point, I've got the entire board. It took me forever. I apologize. And here it is. It's unwrapped. So let's see if I can actually expand this. Right click UV. I'm going to press R. So if I want, hey, 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 that's not, I didn't select everything right here. Come on. There we go. So if I want to use a 512 by 5, this is extreme, right? I mean, this is pretty cool. I mean, there's my boards. And I can take these two, make them thicker, bring them down, just like the same thickness of these guys. And take these guys over. And what you can actually do, if you want this to be super perfect, I would take, let's watch this. I can take these two, align it to, let's say, two squares, for example, or two and a half squares, right? So look, this will be two and a half squares. And I'm going to take this board here. I'm going to make it a half board, which is like that. Look at that. So now I'm going to take these guys, move it over so it's two and a half boards like that. So two and a half squares, I apologize. And then this one will be just a half right there. So proportionally, that's pretty good, right? I'm happy with this now. I'm just going to bring them to the middle or, you know, whatever. And then just maybe R a touch just to bring it inside my border. Okay, good enough. W. And now I will take a screenshot, a snapshot. So I will go polygons. UV snapshot and make sure it's you're in JPEG mode. Again, 512 by 512. And I'm going to go to my desktop again in that folder. And I'm going to call this board. And I can put floorboard. Okay, floorboard 01. Okay, cool. Let's pause here. This was a long one, guys. I apologize. All right, ballion out.